Star seeds and old souls. What are they? What's the difference? So, to begin, star seeds are souls that have originated from other galaxies, star systems, other than the one that Earth is a part of. And they have lived multiple lives and in doing so have learned a multitude of lessons in order to grow spiritually and evolve. As for old souls, the main thing is they have also reincarnated a multitude of times. They have lived many lives, but they've done so on Earth. So the difference between the two is star seeds. The difference is star seeds come from another star system and have lived multiple lives in other star systems. And they can reincarnate and evolve in other areas. So it's not just other galaxies. They can do so as well on Earth. While old souls primarily lived their other lives on Earth. So when someone asks or says or points out that they think that you're an old soul, that has to do with the amount of wisdom and knowledge that you bring forth and or can share with other people. And many people that are very wise, especially those that are wise for their age, appear to be old souls because of the information that they have gathered and learned from their past experiences, aka their past lives, have given them somewhat of an upper hand in life and have also have the ability to help others. They just have that knack to help other people and other people see that. Star seeds can also be considered a type of old soul just because of the amount of times that they've been reincarnated and where they're originated or where they have originated from. And so the whole point is the similarities between the two is the amount of wisdom that the soul has gathered from all the experiences from their past lives. So let's talk about the 10 signs that someone may be a starseed. So number one, longing for home. So essentially you feel like where you are, your environment doesn't feel right. It just feels like you belong somewhere else and you kind of feel this longing to be somewhere else. And you just feel like you don't belong here on this planet. Number two, Heightened sensitivity. Now, this can be for energies. This could be for allergies. Being highly, being highly empathic and or intuitive with an innate ability to sense and or manipulate energies and sense the emotions of others. Number three, unconventional thinking. Are you somebody that just, when it comes to ideas and things, Your creativity is so far out of the box, you question whether or not you're even human, or just like the way you think is just so far out there. Possessing a unique perspective, often questioning societal norms, and seeking a deeper understanding of life's mysteries. Number four, a strong sense of purpose. Feeling a strong inner calling to something to make a positive impact on humanity or the planet, often driven by a desire of healing and transformation. Number five, feeling like an outsider or not fitting in. Having a sense of feeling different from everybody else. Like 
You feel like you're so far out there with your ideas and your thoughts that you question, like, or am I even human? Like, what is going on? And not fitting into societal expectations and norms, which lead to the feelings of isolation. Number six, proclivity for spirituality. Meaning, you just have an inherent interest of all things metaphysical and spiritual with a natural inclination of healing modalities and esoteric knowledge. Number seven, vivid dreams. And I kind of want to throw astral projection in there. Experiencing intense, lucid dreams and astral experiences, especially ones that include a distant land that feels so familiar to you and encounters with otherworldly beings and entities. Number eight, being drawn to specific star systems like Pleiades, Sirius, Orion, and you just have that weird fascination of wanting to know as much as you can about them or about the one you're hyper fixated on. Number nine, unexplained knowledge and skills. You ever hear about stories where someone has a child and, you know, they're like a toddler and all of a sudden they just know how to play the piano. It makes no sense because they've never been taught. Or, you know, a kid wakes up one day and just recalls the past life of someone that no one knew existed until they found proof. There's so many stories of that. It's crazy. Well, if you have had experiences like that, or have a strong affinity to certain hobbies or skills or what have you that kind of don't match with your age, then perhaps you might be a starseed. Number 10, deep love for earth and its creatures. Having a profound appreciation for nature, animals, and the environment feeling a strong sense of responsibility for their well-being. No, obviously these are just a few signs and there's probably more. And if I skipped any, please, you know, list them down below in the comments. But these are the main ones that I've noticed, especially with myself and my friends. So you guys, do any of you think that you're star scenes? Because I know, I know a lot of you, a lot of my subs are star seeds. And if you notice too, a lot of star seeds attract other star seeds. Why is that? It's like law of attraction. The vibratory matches that go on, it's like you attract the same thing. So it makes sense that we would be attracting each other. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I actually decided on a new goal here for my channel. And the goal is, if I hit 100,000 subscribers, I will make my paranormal help services free to everybody. So, guys, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe the crap out of my channel so I can make those services free for everybody. And share this video and share all my content so we can get them subs up. But anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. Love you tons. Peace out. If you like these types of videos, I highly recommend you go watch the 15 tips on opening your third eye. It will be very helpful and beneficial to everyone.